So with the full self-driving beta now in a select number of Tesla vehicles, I'm sure most people who already pre-ordered full self-driving are fairly anxious to get the next and latest Tesla software update. So I thought it would be relevant today to go over how you can download your next Tesla software update while you're driving in Kilowatt Auto's third episode of 4 Minute Friday. If you're new here to the channel, 4 Minute Friday is where we get you all the necessary information that you need on a specific Tesla topic in under four minutes. So if you end up finding this video useful, make sure you hit the like button so others have an easier time finding it. And then if you're also interested in learning more about Tesla and watching the car's progression to full self-driving, definitely consider subscribing so you don't miss our next video. But with all that said, we'll go ahead and put four minutes on the clock and jump right into how you can download your next Tesla software update while you're driving. So traditionally, downloading a Tesla software for update does require a Wi-Fi connection, and the workaround that we're gonna utilize in order to download an update while driving is gonna be a hotspot on your phone. So in today's demonstration, I am gonna be doing this on an iPhone, but you can also do this on an Android phone as long as it's capable of deploying a Wi-Fi hotspot. And while most people probably have Wi-Fi access if they're parking in their garage at their house, this video will also be fairly useful for those of you who are maybe parking in a parking garage or an apartment complex where your Wi-Fi router is not necessarily close enough for your garage for Wi-Fi by access. But for today's example, the one important thing to note is that any time that you change gears in the car, whether you're going from park to drive or drive to park, the car will automatically turn off Wi-Fi. So that's just something to keep in mind, especially when we start to talk about how you're going to turn on your Wi-Fi hotspot and engage that with your Tesla so it can download a software update. And in my experience, I typically will download the updates on my commute home. So my commute home typically ranges anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes, and usually that's a sufficient amount of time for me to download the entire update using the hotspot on my phone. So in order to download the update while driving, the first step you wanna do is make sure the car is already in drive, and then we're gonna go ahead and activate our Wi-Fi hotspot. So for today's example, in the iPhone, you'll go into your settings and then hit the hotspot button and go ahead and activate that. You can set up your own unique password, and then after you log in once on your Tesla, the car will remember the password for next time. And one thing to note as well is sometimes after the first time that you log in, the car will say that it wasn't able to establish a connection. However, once you close out of that screen, you will see the Wi-Fi insignia appear on the top right of your screen, letting you know that a Wi-Fi connection has been enabled. So once you put the car in drive, activated your Wi-Fi hotspot, and also connected to the Wi-Fi network, then the car will start to actively download the software update as long as there's one available. And you'll be able to confirm this because the insignia on the top right of the screen will turn from orange to green, letting you know that the software is being actively downloaded. You can also go into the software menu while you're driving to track the progress of the download. And then once the download is complete, the green arrow will change to an orange clock, letting you know that you can either schedule the update for later or begin the update immediately. And this is the only step in the process that you actually absolutely cannot do while driving. So once you get home, plug the car in and put it in park, you'll then be able to download your update. So as I mentioned earlier, one of the key takeaways from this is that anytime you're changing from drive to park or park to drive, the Wi-Fi will automatically be disengaged on the Tesla. So this is just something to keep in mind. You are gonna wanna have the car in drive when you're actively connecting to the Wi-Fi hotspot. And then as long as you're connected and there's an established connection, you'll have no issues downloading the software update while you're driving. And again, this is typically what I do on my commute home so that by the time I do get home, I'm able to start the update right away. And usually the update process takes anywhere from 25 to 30 minutes where you physically will not be able to drive the car while it's undergoing that process. But that's gonna wrap things up for today's video. Hopefully you found it useful and can employ this process on your own when you're driving home next time and wanna download an update. If you have any questions, make sure you let me know in the comments down below. According to Tesla, full self-driving should be deployed fleet-wide by the end of the year. So if you haven't done so already, make sure you get subscribed so you can see the first videos of full self-driving in action. Also, if you're in the market, and are looking to buy a Tesla, you can use my referral code down below and that'll get you 1,000 free supercharged miles. But as always, thank you so much for watching Kilowatt Auto and I will see you in the next one.